All right. Why behind AJ's skin? Mostly the why is that big, amazing star that we have in our universe called the sun. I think the sun is like 85% of aging. It might be a titch less, but we're talking about the skin here. And the reason I say that is because when I'm doing a skin exam and when I see sun protected skin, and we're talking like in a 60 or 70 year old, it can still look like it's a 15 year old, which is amazing. So our sun is the primary culprit of aging. Now we have chronological aging, which is just aging over time. And then we have sun or oxidative aging, which is due to elements, primarily UV. So UV or ultraviolet and visible light. So anything that's part of the electromagnetic energy that we, we receive from the sun affects our world. It affects plants, it affects buildings. And this energy that's put into it helps life grow and it makes our skin age a little bit over time. And of course it can give us skin cancers and whatnot and skin aging and freckles and spots and telangiectasias and thinning and all this jazz. So what happens is this visible light and UV, we talk about UV all the time because that's very important. UV goes a little bit deeper into the skin. So we're talking about ultraviolet light, ultraviolet B and ultraviolet A. Ultraviolet A has a longer wavelength. And so it does penetrate into the dermis, which is a deeper layer of skin and ultraviolet B, which is mostly stops in the epidermis which is the top layer of skin. So ultraviolet B, UVB does more sunburn and UVA does more like wrinkling and damage or thinning of the skin. So what that UVA does is it breaks down collagen, it breaks down elastin. That's why over time, even people to reverse this do things like fillers or they do certain energy-based devices like microneedling with radio frequency to help re-stimulate these collagen fibers deep. The top layers of skin, which is more damaged with UVB or or visible light, these um, at first cause sunburn. That's the skin trying to protect itself from this damage from, from light. So light, electromagnetic energy can go into our cells, specifically in the DNA, and it can basically mess them up. It kind of cross-links them and it makes it so that it can't replicate as perfectly. In normal cells, this will lead the cells to get rid of itself, knowing that it's been damaged. It can't replicate itself perfectly. If it doesn't get rid of itself, then it has an abnormal replication, which can be precancer and eventually lead to skin cancer and at the minimum skin aging. So that's why we want to protect against this. Now, how we protect against it, of course, you know, the sun protective stuff, sunscreen, cap, sun hoods, sun shirts, avoiding peak hours of the sun, so shade, all those shelters, all those are great areas to or ways to protect against it. This, and this is mostly we've been talking about UVB and UVA, ultraviolet type of protections, because UVC, which is a very uh, a different wavelength, is mostly take care of in the upper atmosphere. So it really doesn't make it down to our bodies which is good because it would cause even more back damage than UVA and UVB. So visible light, that's where we get superficial thinning of the skin. We get freckles, we get sunspots, we get dulling of the skin, but visible light is something that we're talking about more and only tinted sunscreens take help with visible light damage. That's kind of a do aha we've known that for a while i guess i just haven't been talking about that as much but if we want protection from visible light it has to be a tinted sunscreen other type of chemical sunscreens really will help very well with uvb and uva but not as much from visible light so that ladies and gents is the why behind aging skin